Hi, guys. Today we're gonna make rainbow rolls. Oh, yeah. They're not only tasty, but they're also bright and beautiful. Ah, uh, Simi, where did you go? Don't you want to help me? Of course I do. And now I'm absolutely ready for this. <laughs> okay. Since our rolls will be colorful, let's start with coloring. Chef Sam is at your service. Oh, no, Sammy. For this dish, we don't need food coloring. But what do we need then? Water. A lot of water. <laughs> Can you help with that? Why do you even ask? <laughs> <laughs> what could be better than natural coloring? Right, guys? Huh? <laughs> Red cabbage will make our water violet. Check out this awesome color, guys. Wow. Oh, warm water. It feels like summer. Ah, uh, Sammy, maybe you can swim somewhere else? I need to boil the red cabbage. Okay, okay, you don't even give me a chance to dream. Did you know, guys, that the color of this cabbage comes from a flavonoid called anthocyanin, which is also found in blueberries and flower petals. Do not forget to ask an adult to help you with the stove. You're right! So, and hop! Here's our first color. Oh, Sue, it takes so long to prepare colors. Maybe you should use those bottles with ready-made coloring. Don't worry, Sammy. The rest will be much faster, especially if you help me. Chef Sam can do that! Look, the technique is simple. We just pour a pack of turmeric powder into the water. And stir it very well! Just like this! <laughs> Uh, how much longer, Sue? Until all the powder is dissolved, Sammy. Phew, I even got all sweaty. Wow, guys, just look at these wonderful natural colors. Bee, turmeric, spirulina, butterfly tea, and red cabbage. Wow, I got a little bit dizzy. You did such a great job, Sammy. Let's continue cooking, guys. We can't have rolls without rice. You're right, Sammy. Oh, actually, that's not the right type of rice. I'll explain. You brought round grain white rice. And we need a short grain one because of its sticky consistency. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised that such a great chef like me didn't realize that. Rice vinegar adds flavor and sourness. And then we'll add a little bit of sugar. Did you say a lot of sugar? <laughs> Sammy, you're not going to confuse me. We need only one teaspoon. <laughs> Did you know, guys, that there is a type of sushi that is made with a very poisonous fish? I just checked. It's called fugu. If a chef handles the fish in the wrong way, they could potentially kill their own customers. Ah, I hope we'll be making vegetarian sushi today. As you wish. <laughs> Actually, we'll need four more of these portions of rice. Hop! Voila! If you like sushi and rolls, then give us a thumbs up! Sammy, do you know an easy way to learn the right order of the rainbow colors? Of course! Repeat after us, guys! Richard of York! Gave battle! In vain! <laughs> the first letters give a hint about the colors. Let's mix it! Wow! This is so colorful! If you like it, then subscribe! Right, Sammy. It looks absolutely beautiful. Yet the most exciting part is left. Awesome! Let's get started. Sue, the table is clean. Why do you need this rug? <laughs> Sammy, that's not a rug. It's a bamboo mat. And it'll help us a lot. You'll see later. Guys, we'll also need this nori sheet. These are made of green seaweed. Sue, I know an interesting fact. Did you know that this seaweed is actually red, but when it dries out, it turns green? Cool, huh? Actually, I also tried them. Mm, they're super tasty. Thanks for this info, Sammy. The seaweed also contains lots of iodine. That's why it's very good for your health. So, shall we assemble our rolls? Sure. Let's begin, guys. And first comes the red rice. There you go. We'll spread it out carefully. Like this. <laughs> Guys, did you know that rolls are a version of sushi? But sushi contains just rice and seafood. Hmm, why don't we speed up the process a little bit? Pum, 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 pum. Voila! <laughs> Yay! I can't wait to taste them! 
Don't rush, Sammy. First, we need to flatten the rice. And only afterwards can we put in the filling. <laughs> Since Sammy is anxious about fugu, we're only gonna use vegetables this time. But you guys can choose whatever you want. <laughs> Are you done, Sue? I've prepared everything! Um, I don't see anything. So have a good long look, Susie! And abracadabra boom! Oh, that's a really great choice, Sammy! Everything that I like so much! Okay, let's take the cucumber. I know something else about sushi! Then tell us, Sammy. Ginger is not supposed to be eaten with sushi. You should eat it between sushi to freshen your taste bud. Ah, huh, that's interesting. And chopsticks are used only for rolls. In Japan, they eat sushi with their hands. <laughs> okay, so the next time we'll cook sushi and I'll have less dishes to wash. <laughs> Did you know that wasabi is not a sauce? Actually, it's used to kill the bacteria in raw fish. So wasabi makes sushi safe to eat. Oh, I'd better serve some wasabi too. Aw, you're such a scaredy cat, Sammy. But you're right. Safety comes first. Now it's time to use our bamboo mat. Like this. Hop. <laughs> Guys, if you don't have one, you can replace it with parchment paper or plastic wrap. But it's better to buy one if you plan to make rolls regularly. Sue, this is so easy and so much fun! You forgot about the main thing. It's tasty! <laughs> Here we go. We need our rolls to be nice and neat. There you go. Like this, you see? Guys, ask an adult to help you at this stage because we're going to cut our rolls. Woohoo! Oh, this is gonna be so good. Sue, do you mind? Um, if I choose a nice plate, everything should be beautiful. Of course. I trust your taste. Like this. <laughs> I'm ready to serve. Hop. Ah, uh, Simi, didn't you forget something? Wait, what? Ah, now I get it. You probably meant the soy sauce. Yep, correct, Sammy. Whoa, guys, it looks so good. Just like in a posh restaurant. I couldn't agree with you more, Sue. Let's have a good look at it and make some more. Sammy, are you ready for a taste test, hmm? I was born ready! So let's start. Hop. And a little dip. Mmm. <laughs> well, what do you say, Sue? How does it feel? Is it delicious? Mmm, yes, Sammy, they're so tasty. Mmm. Our rainbow rolls are absolutely awesome. And beautiful, too. You flatter me. <laughs> Guys, make sure to try rainbow sushi. It's such a pleasure. For real. Da -da -ba. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now the better consistency is right. We need to bake it in the oven at the temple. Hey, Sammy. So I'm filming my culinary vlog here. <clears throat> Where was I? Right, we need a preheated oven. Ah, uh, that won't work. Our oven is broken. <laughs> Yeah, the repair specialist will come in three days. Three days? Three days? I can't wait that long! Chef Samuel can wait that long! <sighs> Easy, Chef Samuel. Take a deep breath, there's a solution. <sighs> you know there are cakes that don't need baking, right? Look, I even bought all the ingredients! Hooray, my vlog is saved! Hi, guys! Today we're not baking, but caking! I mean, we're gonna make a cheesecake without using the oven at all. So give a thumbs up if you like this idea. Oh, that's a lot of crackers. Maybe I can have one or two? Oh no, Sammy, we need all 450 grams. Oh. 
If you want to help, microwave one pack of unsalted butter. But be careful! In the meantime, guys, let's make some noise. See, guys? The graham crackers should be properly crushed like this. I can do that, too! <laughs> Sammy, where's the butter? A moment! I never forget things. Here you are. Now we need to carefully pour the butter right here. And mix it all really well. Shoo, I got it! You're making the crust for our cake, right? Right, Sammy. Look, the base for the crust is already ready. Ha! <laughs> Chef Samuel has an intuitive thing for cake recipes. <laughs> All right, now we need to take a springform pan. Wait a moment, you said we're not baking today. <sighs> Why are you so impatient, Sammy? You don't let me explain anything. We need this baking form to shape the crust of our cake. Let's pour everything out from the bowl really carefully like this. Oh, not a single tiny crumb left. I thought my tasting abilities would come in handy. Well, your cleaning abilities might come in handy. Wash this bowl properly, please. We'll need it later to mix our cheesecake filling. And don't forget to dry it well. In the meantime, guys, let's evenly spread the crust like this. Unbelievable. She didn't even let me taste a tiny bit. And I have to wash dishes? Outrageous. <laughs> little slime. Guys, press the crumbs all over the cake tin. Now that our crust is done, we'll leave it to chill in the fridge for 30 minutes. Stay tuned, guys! Guys! We're moving to the cheesecake itself! Take a small bowl filled with water like this. You're gonna need it to make some gelatin mixture. It's better to use cold water. Good point, Sammy. Now let's pour gelatin powder. We need two tablespoons of it. There we go. And now let's mix it all properly. Mix to the left, mix to the right. Mix the mixture, hold on tight. Oh, I see MC Sam is in the house. <laughs> Leave it for five minutes away, then take it for 30 seconds to a microwave. Oh my, wrapping and cooking? Sam, you're a multitasker. Guys, it's time to add cream cheese to the condensed milk. Looks tasty. Now we're gonna mix it all up. For that, I'll use our mixer. Guys, better ask an adult to help you here. That was fast, right, guys? Sammy, here comes your favorite part. Oh, yeah, yummy. Come, come, papa. <laughs> Sammy. <laughs> Next, we'll add some cream. Pour it carefully. Here we go. And mix it all well as usual. Sammy, how's it going? Oh, uh, one second. Oh, that slime never stops surprising me. <laughs> Here's the mixer, too. Oh, thank you, Sammy. Shall we make some noise again? <laughs> so you forgot something. All right. Guys, you can melt white chocolate in a water bath. And don't forget the gelatin mixture. Oh, Sammy, what would I do without ya? Let's pour it into our mixture as well. Add vanilla extract. Yeah, yeah, I'm already on it. Good, now we're talking. Oh, no, not again, Sue! Oh, but Sammy, we need to mix it all properly once again. Then I'm gonna go find my headphones. That's better. Sammy, could you bring me six little bowls, please? What? Bring me six bowls, please! Uh, do you need a football or a basketball? Ugh, Sammy, no, I, I meant... Ugh. I'll be right back, guys. These are what I asked you for, Sammy. Oh, <laughs> that's what you meant. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> that's okay. Guys, now we're going to divide our filling into six even parts. And we're gonna need food gels of six different colors. What color should we start with, Sammy? I prepared a special color spectrum palette and the first color is... Yellow! Wow, what a cool idea, Sammy! All right, let's start with yellow. Guys, 
guys, just a couple of drops will be enough. One and two. Great. Guess what? We're gonna mix it well. Magic. <laughs> it's perfect. Uh, what color's next, Sammy? The next day's blue. Ah, and we're mixing. Whoa, so beautiful. <laughs> red. Now red. Guys, that was mesmerizing. Give a thumbs up if you agree. Sammy, can I ask you to invite Elsa to help us here a bit? In the meantime, I'll bring the crust. Our Elsa? All right. Guys, our crust is ready. Now we can pour the red part of our filling into the spring form. I wonder where Sammy is. Elsa's here. <sighs> Hi, darling. We need your magic. Would you be so kind to help us? Sure, no problem. Whoosh! Guys, you'll need to put the cake into the fridge for 20 minutes each time you add a new layer. We decided to speed up this process with the help of Elsa's frozen magic. <laughs> oh, I see. That's genius, Sue. <laughs> I know, right? There we go. Da da da. Da da ba. <laughs> oh, what a nice color. Perfect. I didn't think that cooking was so easy. Whoosh! You're right, Elsa. <laughs> Here we go! Only the purple layer is left. I can't wait to taste our cake. Once you're done with the layers, place your cake into the fridge to chill for at least four hours. Unless you know somebody with freezing magic. <laughs> hmm. Is it just me? Or was the crust face just a bit higher? I don't know anything about that. I still saw nothing. Okay, it's even better that way. Now we need to decorate it. Susie, I think we need to decorate our cake. <laughs> Great minds think alike, Sam. I'm already making the whipped cream. Hold it, I'll write down all the ingredients. I want to share this recipe in my culinary blog if you don't mind. Not at all. Then write down 250 milliliters of whipping cream, half a cup of sweetened condensed milk. Condensed milk, <laughs> got it. Oh, I almost forgot. Add a couple of drops of vanilla extract, <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> I believe it's time for the mixer. That's right, thank you. Here we go. Guys, if you don't like working with the mixer, you can ask an adult to help you. Yeah, it can also be cleaner if an adult works with the home appliances, right, Sammy? Yeah, it was fun when I forgot to close the lid of the mixer. Oh, my smoothie went to the ceiling. <laughs> it wasn't fun for me at all, cleaning all that mess, you know. Anyway, guys, the whipped cream is ready. Let's make our cake beautiful, not only on the inside, but also on the outside. A piping bag will come in handy. We'll do it this way. Oh, that's one of my favorite parts of cooking. By the way, before decorating, carefully take the cake out of the form and put it on your favorite plate. One more swirl here. Nice. Whoop, don't forget the sprinkles. I'll leave that mission for you. Okay, make way. One can never have too many sprinkles. Am I right, guys? Give a thumbs up if you agree. Wow, the cake looks awesome. Let's check it out in all its glory. anything. <laughs> okay, guys, are you ready to check out the inner beauty of this cake? Here we go. Be careful with the knife. Ask an adult to help you. Mm. Oh, quick, Sue. I can't wait to taste it. <laughs> Slow down, Sammy. Better check out this beautiful rainbow. Awesome! Awesome! 